this industry is ripe for innovation. We're talking about an, an industry in beekeeping specifically or pollination that hasn't seen significant upgrades to technology or information in 150 years since Lorenzo Langstroth was the guy who designed these white boxes that we see everywhere and identify with beekeeping. So for us and me, it's, it, it's really exciting because we see all these different technologies popping up and we see different people trying to create useful tools. We try to build partnerships with those people as best we can. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It's definitely an exciting journey for us when you talk about this is actually something that is impactful in the world. It's not just another widget that's out there. Like we see the plastic widgets at the store and I hope that those businesses are generating great wealth for their teams and their employees. But at the end of the day, we're doing something real. Like you can touch, you can feel it. You know that you're connecting with nature when you go out there and, and see this thing and work with a colony of honeybees. And to me, there's very few things out there in the world that you can actually do that with from a product standpoint. Mm. Uh, and not only that, but then tie it back to the technology with all the data that we're collecting and go, hey, cool, now we're, now we're actually working in cyberspace, which isn't real, it's just air or something. And you're connecting nature to this digital realm that, that I know people are trying to figure out how do we actually do this? 10 years from now, 15 years from now, 20 years from now, I, as much as I want to say and could say, yeah, I've got a vision for what we're going to be doing at that point in time. I don't know. Who knows? You know, we could be, I mean, we'll have sensors in hives and colonies at that point. We'll, we'll have this great database. You know, maybe, maybe we'll be part of the people who put bees on Mars or something like that. That'd be fun. <laughs> Fabulous. For full conversations and future content, please subscribe at offthegridbiz.com.